Gaming's greatest mobster franchise is finally getting back into the family business this year with Mafia 2. The original is fondly remembered, but open world games have come a long way since. It's no doubt gunning for the top, but does Mafia 2 have what it takes to put a hit on the competition? You're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah, you got his merchandise. <laughs> Jew. Returning from the war into a life of crippling debt and meager earnings, the ambitious Vito Scaletta embarks upon a career of big risks and even bigger payouts in Mafia 2's rags to riches story. Told earnestly by strong writing and excellent delivery from the cast, the game paints a dark portrait of crime, consequence, and a mob life not quite as glamorous as the original game's romanticized vision. There are some genuinely arresting moments, though many of the twists you'll see coming from a mile away, and the tepid conclusion keeps the overall experience from being completely satisfying throughout. For the most part, though, Mafia 2 spins an entertaining yarn with good characters and plenty of screwed up situations that make for some great gaming moments. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Mafia 2 generally shares the same open-world premise of Grand Theft Auto, with its emphasis on driving, shooting, and street-side brawls. Where Liberty City would provide a scattered spread of tasks to tackle at your choosing, however, Empire Bay's play keeps it on the straight and narrow, with a linear, chapter-based format. Though in far less quantity than you'd ordinarily expect, the missions are expertly designed and fit in well with the spirit of the era. Small-time jewelry heists and stolen cigarette sales eventually give way to gang shootouts and hits on high-risk targets. The variety is good, though the missions are touch and go, but at the very least, you'll never be asked to do the same thing twice. Covering a broad range of environments and interesting objectives, the action never sticks to the same notes. Get your ass over here! You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Being that you're interacting with the world primarily through your guns, wheels, or fists, expect to run into some trouble pretty often. Empire Bay's police force is swift, relentless, and quick to punish transgressions. The AI has a pretty keen sense of justice, so don't expect to bump pedestrians or speed on the streets without some kind of risk. Given that the police identify you based on what you're driving or wearing, though, you have a few strategic options when it comes to escaping the law. A quick swap of clothes or plates is all it takes to cast aside unwanted attention. Thanks a lot. Apart from chopping up cars for cash and finding hidden collectibles, there really isn't much outside of the game's campaign. Empire Bay, for all of its broad stretches of pavement and concrete, has little to provide apart from nice scenery. In all, Vito's quest for money and respect will last all of around 10 hours, possibly more if you take it upon yourself to struggle on a higher difficulty setting. There's also no multiplayer to speak of, so once you've had your fill of mucking around Empire Bay streets on your own, there isn't much to return to. This will help you forget all about it. All right, now get out of here before I change my mind. Much like the unsavory lot wielding them, guns in Mafia 2 display a brutal simplicity that feels appropriate to the times. You'll defer to the mobster's beloved Tommy gun for most of your killing, but the game's loadout of pistols, shotguns, semi-automatics, and explosives prove just as lethal. It doesn't take a whole lot of bullets to coax foes into the big sleep, and the same goes for you. Though health regenerates over time, don't expect to get away with Master Chief levels of bravery unless you're particularly fond of reloading checkpoints. Yeah, will do. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, on the other hand, invites a more daring approach. With techniques like dodges, counter punches, and finishing moves, Mafia 2's melee system shows some surprising depth. Scrapping against an opponent when the story calls for it is a nice reprieve from the moment-to-moment -moment gunplay, but apart from the occasional stealth kill, its actual use in missions is discouragingly limited. Just don't kill me! Oh my God, don't kill me. 
When it comes to driving, Mafia 2's biggest contribution is the speed limiter function that's useful for playing it cool around the police. A wide array of automobiles, all with their own unique configurations for traction, handling, and steering, will quickly have you playing favorites. And if your preferred set of wheels isn't running on standby, a getaway vehicle is only a quick lock pick away. As an action game, Mafia 2 pours a number of neat flourishes into every one of its individual elements. None of these will necessarily surprise you, but they all coalesce into a tight third-person shooting experience that definitely helps move the story and the action along smoothly and effectively. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Away from Sicily. Across the ocean. To start a new life. In America. With decadent high-rises and a virtual citizenry seemingly plucked from the canvas of a Norman Rockwell painting, Mafia 2 serves up a stunning snapshot of vintage Americana. Empire Bay's take on the post-war American metropolis is truly a sight to behold, with meticulous recreations of real-life locales like Griffith's Observatory really selling its sense of place. Character models, showing considerable detail and emotive expression, are just as impressive by comparison. And the voice work, barring some obtusely stereotypical portrayals of Asians, is consistently solid throughout. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. Bound together by the radio rotation's careful sampling of jazz, swing, and the budding roots of rock and roll, Mafia 2 accomplishes a vivid reenactment of the 50s that definitely stands up to the genre's Liberty Cities and Wild Wests. Ugh. You disgusting pig. Taken for its strengths, Mafia 2 delivers a rich slice of 50s mob culture with phenomenal atmosphere and solid gameplay that's easily worth experiencing. But if you're expecting the generous breadth of the best open world games, the absence of extracurricular activities will be a bit of a disappointment. It doesn't quite stand above the luminaries that inspired it, but if you're looking for an excellently realized shooter that sticks straight to its target, Mafia 2 is worth a shot. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less.